right now. So personally, um, what are some of the things that have become known to you? Um, all of my childhood traumas. Okay. Um, they are, I, I knew, you know, there were traumas of some sort, but now I could identify them and actually call them what they are. Mm -hmm. um, so just being aware of them and, you know, certain reactions or certain triggers that cause me to think about the traumas, mm -hmm. I can now identify them within myself and become aware and kind of be intentional of how I react or what I say. Uh -huh. Well, you um, can you do you do you mind giving us like spe a specific example of <laughs> when you realize that besides yeah. using Julian, we don't want to use Julian um, anymore. Let him his past is better. <laughs> it, yeah. Um, no, I actually I actually went to therapy. Oh, okay. Um. So I went to therapy. I was um. I I felt like a lot of what I was experiencing or what i was living uh just made me very unhappy okay um i felt depressed and uh alone and i you know i i wasn't so mm -hmm. um i decided to go to therapy i was like um let me just give this a shot see mm -hmm. see what comes up and um she was able to be very direct and open and say this is what this is oh, okay. um and then from there i started to I want to say not overthink, but I started to think and, and process everything. Okay. Um, and that's where I'm like, oh, this is why I'm this way. This is why I react this way. And I'm just like, this. it's just like, e like everything that I lived kind of became a, uh, like a movie in my head that I'm just like, oh, okay. Then this is this, like, this is where uh -huh. I was like emotionally neglected. This is where, um, I, you know, like I just, just different everything. So um, how does that, how does that, um, cause I, 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 I get that. I, yes. cause I understand that. Um, how does that play out for you when you're interacting with people now? So like, I know like maybe in the mornings or at night you think about this and you have this movie, like mm -hmm. you said, right. Which is a great way to put that. It's that's phenomenal. But so then when you're actually involved in a conversation with somebody and something is said or something happens or something comes up, how, how does that play out in that? Um, I definitely like take my time and like think about it cause my normal reaction would just be my normal reaction. So I try to see if my normal reaction is valid. Okay. Like if it is, um, the right reaction or if it's being, um, triggered by my traumas or, you know, it, it's in response of my traumas. Um, so after, you know, just going that route, I'm just like, okay, well, if it's not triggered by my traumas and I've kind of gotten past it or, or moved past certain traumas, then this is the right reaction. If not, yeah. I will change the way I react or, or what I say. So there's a really seriously heightened level of, yes. of, of awareness and self-awareness yeah. and how you're um, behaving, yes. how you're reacting, how you're responding, how like, that's a lot of work. It is. I mean, it is, it is very exhausting at some points. Yeah. Um, it, it's, um, a lot of internal kind of like conflicts between myself uh, yeah. just because it's um, a lot of what I'm used to and then a lot of what I'm trying to change. Is it something that I'm um, willing to change and willing to keep up with? Mm -hmm. um, or is it something that I can like put on the back burner and work on something else more? Because I feel like there's a lot that I that I need to work on and I can't work on all of it all at once because it's very exhausting and it, it it's just going to cause me to like just crash yeah. um, within, you know, my body. It's yeah. like, I'm yeah. going to have a mental breakdown and then I'm going to feel like all of this was for nothing and I'm just going to revert back to my old ways. Yeah. Um, but it, it definitely is like trying to be, make, make it a priority, like certain yeah. things like the confidence um, yes. with Julian. Um, and then my, my, I mean, just my self-confidence also because he is, probably feeding off of that um and then my negative thoughts yeah. of and doubting myself of you know trying to reach goals or trying to do certain uh, accomplishments in my life so so you have accomplished a lot of things um you have a you're a mother yes uh you're an independent woman mm -hmm. uh you take great care of your son so there's a lot of things in the in the 
projection of your life that that and things that you have come up personally have seen how hard you work and how much passion and dedication you put into what you do i mean i've seen that firsthand so i i, I consider that being very successful but yet with all that you still doubt yourself yes why is that why is it that all the things that you have accomplished up to this point don't wait as much as those other things that were only temporary um, I actually just realized this not long ago. Um, I don't think about my accomplishments as often, probably as I should. Okay. Um, so a lot of the accomplishments that you listed, I'm just like, okay, yeah, like normal, like I, uh, th- whatever. Mm-hmm, um, yeah. But if I sit down and actually think this is what I did, this is what came out of it. Like if I put it down or just think about it in in each accomplishment Mm. and just like line them all up or visualize them, then I feel like, Oh, I actually accomplished a lot. Correct. And it's probably more than, you know, I thought I would have accomplished or my parents thought would have, you know, I would have accomplished Mm. and it would make me feel a lot better than what I was feeling like. Oh yeah. Yeah. I did that. Like it's whatever. It was nothing kind of thing. Cause that's how I, see things Mm -hmm. um i kind of just brush them off and i'm just like well this is what i want to do now this like what can i do to get here and i kind of fixate on that goal and not feel as confident or not feel like i can because i'm not (laughs) celebrating my own accomplishments i'm not recognizing them (laughs) 